Hey guys, Jay Todd here from the floor of the Barcelona Affiliate Conference, and I'm, I've caught up with Mike from Blue Claw. Now, if you're an affiliate, it's important to get traffic to your website because if not, you're, you ain't gonna make no money, right? So, so if there's this emerging market in Russia, and there's this new search engine, and Mike here has got some information that could help get you placement on the search engine, which could get you traffic to your website and make more money, which is what we're all here for. Mike, thank you for coming on. Tell us about this search engine, including this this name. Was it Yandex? Well, first of all, thanks for having me, Jay Todd. Uh, as always, a pleasure. Uh, Yandex is kind of an interesting search engine in that, well, in many ways, it is very similar to Google. There's a lot of um, sort of nuances with it, and they do give people a lot more um, sort of scope to actually uh, tweak what they display to the user in the search engine through um, the Yandex version of Webmaster Tools. You can go as far as you know, even have it making your snippets interactive if you have the right kind of site. I mean, to take an example, for Aeroflot, you can actually check in for your flight without even going to the website. You can do it from Yandex, which is fantastic. They're well ahead with certain things, and I think that in some ways, it's actually um, we should be looking to it to see what Google's actually going to do in the future. In terms of actually getting your rankings, now the key factor that we always talk about as SEOs is links. Um, it's always links. Uh, it probably always will be links. Um, so we're going to look at what's really different for Russia with that. Um, now, despite all of the sort of umming and ahhing about whether page rank matters and everything else, we're not going to get into that debate. There is a factor that really does matter that Yandex does give out to people, and that's TIC. Uh, the easiest way to describe it would be as Yandex's page rank. Um, but it actually matters. Uh, it's very important. Um, a high TIC site is a good site. Um, now, there's also kind of a lot more with the on niche kind of link style building. Um, if you kind of go to Google, then a lot of guys now are kind of moving outside of the gambling space and just looking for sort of semi-legitimate tie-ins back to their own websites. In, in Yandex, it's much more important to actually stay focused on um, you know, the actual theme of the content. But uh, the key thing that you guys really need to know is that Russia is a very, very good market for gaming. This is a country that is very well known for its gambling habits and has had all the casinos taken away from it on the land-based space. Now, of course, we are, you know, we are talking about a grey market here, so sometimes it is a bit difficult to find you know, a, a, a an operator that actually wants to take Russian traffic. Not that hard, but there's a few less of them. Uh, and it's a fantastic space. It isn't non-competitive. You know, there, there is a lot of other guys out there, but it's not all about spam. Um, and it's something that you know, anyone in sort of a grey kind of white hat mindset can actually really do well in Yandex. Um, and Diversification, of course, is becoming increasingly important because every time Google updates something, it can completely kill an affiliate overnight. Um, so, you know, looking to other search engines is great, and they might do similar things, but they're certainly not going to do it at the, exact, at the exact same time. Follow up question here is you know, everyone's worried about Google, 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 right? As a webmaster myself, sometimes I, I, I you know, use social media, and there's some talk whether social media can influence the SERPs at Google, especially a Google Plus account. My question to you is, does social media affect Yandex? And if so, does it have to be a Russian social media network or do they look at other social media networks outside of Russia? Well, um, one of Yandex's founders did quite recently say that Yandex does, uh, and you know, empirically, adamantly said it does monitor social signals and use them in the rankings. They've, uh, Yandex has recently updated its algorithm to um, amend the uh, search results and make them more personalized. Now this has affected about 80% of searches and a lot of the data is taken from social signals. Uh, the only thing you really need to be aware of is that of course the social media platforms are a little bit different in Russia. Now um, Twitter is still good, Facebook is, uh, yeah, as a market share it's not that important, but vContact is by far the most important social platform in Russia. It has the vast majority of the market share it is essentially a Facebook, a Facebook clone. Um, there's not a lot more to it than that. Um, but you know, we know that Yandex is monitoring this. We know it takes it gro into a, uh, seriously into account. And uh, yeah, um, you know, we could also sit here and get into a long debate about whether Google uses them or not. But uh, I'm, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's another time and place. <laughs> All right. So good information. Thank you very much. If somebody needed more assistance from you, where would they go? How would they contact you? Uh, well, I'm usually readily available at, uh, on my email address, Mike at Blue Claw or Skype, m.litson, either or. Um, I'm happy to answer a few questions.
All right, they can reach you through Blue Claw as well. Yes. Okay, so I'll put the URL right down there. Mike, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate your time.